The PTL Television Network presents Jim and Tammy on location. group we have as always and the grand is almost packed full I guess and well we've got an exciting program for you from Heritage Island of Heritage USA In just a few days we plan to open Heritage Island we have our permit for our big rotunda building here and uh, we're here on the beach but we can't use the pools yet but uh, we'll be able to open this up the Lord willing he's willing and the state willing, this Saturday, Heritage Island, after three years, will be open. We're happy. You go sit on that waterfall right there. Oh, oh, I get to test this stuff out. And I sat under that <laughs> You've waterfall. You've been testing, haven't I you? sat under that waterfall yesterday and tested that out. And uh, we also uh, had some of the, we, we had two little kids that, they're the children of the foreman of the job to help test out right. with this this ride here you can't see it all from behind but it has a, a, a tube ride down the little mountain there and this is all for the little kids and uh, we tested that out and I have some film of it we might be able to show you in a little bit of, of the, the kids trying it out we have to adjust some of the weirs and things yet okay, to make it perfect the big kids work, work on the little kids is one Danuta's gonna teach me how to swim, but but we haven't done it yet. You have to have a you have to be accompanied by a child to go oh, in there. Okay. <laughs> so if you have a child, you could then go we in can there. Go in yeah. There. Okay. I'll yeah. take Jamie and away we'll go. <laughs> yeah. Our special guest today is the co-hostess of the 700 Club. Danuta is here with her, <laughs> Soderman, and her husband, Kai. Is that great? We're so glad to have them, Jim. That's so nice. And we're going to be talking with them here on the beach at Waikiki. No, at Heritage Island. It feels like Hawaii, doesn't it? Whoa. Well, the next time you probably see this beach, you won't believe it, but there will be palm trees, live, living, beautiful palms, banana trees, and bamboo trees. Oh, wow. And that will finish off the landscaping of Heritage Won't Island. That be I have a beautiful flower here, Jim. And it, uh, it says, glad to see you up and around. God bless you. The crew at Peter Christian Florist. And that's uh, 4696 Hayes, Clinton Township in Michigan. So I want to nice? thank them. That is absolutely gorgeous. And it made me feel like I'm in Hawaii today. Well, I do. <laughs> this whole beach thing feels like Hawaii. Uh -huh. Our gang, the band looks Hawaiian. They do. That's Larry Bluebaker and the Hawaiian <laughs> Beach Bums. <laughs> Yes, there they are. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take a little look around the island a little bit and show you what's happening here. And we have a great crowd here. Boy, if we only had charged $10 a head, just think what we'd done with this crowd today. Wow. We could have paid all the bills oh, the first Jim, day out. Oh, and they're fun people, too. They're having a great time out there. <laughs> well, of all the Silver Club members, though, this is their place. Yes. And they get to use it free the rest of their lives. So I got a feeling they'll be lined up on Saturday when we cut the ribbon to yes, open Heritage yes. Island. Well, let's start out with a song from the Hawaiians over here. <laughs> Doug Oldham and Jeannie and Bob and the rest of the gang here. And this is a song that... I wanted them to sing. 
and they told me it was impossible to sing it. <laughs> and I said, well, it's the impossible dream, so let's try it anyhow, <laughs> because the miking out here isn't quite right to do this big a group number. But we're going to try it anyhow. I said, it's taken three years. They laughed when I started it. Some of the critics called it Jim Baker's Folly. And it took three years. Some of the bankers said they'll go under in 30 days. But I got news for you, this park in about, uh, from the day you're watching right now, about three days will be open. And Great. Tammy Faye, it will be paid Amen. for as well. So we dreamed an impossible dream, but we've got a God of the impossible. Yeah, so take Don't that, critics. Sing it for us. Larry Brubaker, hit it, please. To dream an impossible dream To fight that unbeatable foe To dream the impossible dream. You know, it's an exciting thing to be an American and to serve God and to be able to dream dreams and to see those dreams and to be able to pursue those dreams. It's true. Thank you, Doug, for trying that. that you good. did it. And uh, I know your voice is terribly hoarse. Doug is the chairman of Kevin's house. And on these construction sites, we've gone all the way from... Uh, what it fiberglassing fumes to uh, gunniting fumes to <laughs> sawdust and dirt and dust <laughs> so it's kind of had a toll on your voice well it's it's taken its toll but it's been well worth it because I have never spent a more exciting 30 days in my life everything is coming to a to a finale everything is everything is being finished Kevin's house coming on so great I don't know if we even have our cameras at Kevin's house at this hour or not but we will be showing them we got cameras everywhere. This <laughs> Paul King just went into cardiac arrest. <laughs> I think this is Television City. When you see Kevin's house the next time, you really won't believe it, because uh, this the, it's, you know, even though we've hit an in impasse by not being able to get the trusses for the roof, they're going to make them on the site, That's and wonderful. we will solve that problem. And in 30 days, Kevin's house will be completed, 13,000 square feet. 
as you're standing with us. It is an unbelievable miracle taking place. And we're sitting in a miracle right now that I wondered some days over the last three years if this would be a great giant, gigantic rock monument <laughs> to failure. Well, Jim, That's what I the think devil that, always well, tells I you, you know. I think there were times you and I wondered if it was worth what we had to go through to to, to make it. But I'm so glad you stuck it out, baby. <laughs> I'm so glad. Well, we have 12 <laughs> inches of water to go and the pool will be full. Ah. It's still not up to full pool yet. Actually, this water will lap right up on the sandy beach because there's, there's actually underneath the sand, the pool goes under the sand. This is one of the first pools of its kind in the world that the, the waves, we'll test the waves machine this afternoon. We can make five foot waves on this pool. You can surf on this pool when the surf is up. Those machines that are back and behind there that look like garage doors underwater, there's huge wave devices back under there that make this an actual surf. You can surf with a surfboard on this pool when it opens in a few days. And you eat underneath those waterfalls as well. And uh, the, 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 uh, the water comes right up on the beach and you can just wiggle your toes down in the sand just like you do at the real ocean. So we didn't have an ocean here, so we brought the ocean to Heritage USA. We didn't have a mountain, so we built a mountain at Heritage USA. And it is, this island has, you talk about camera city, we have 14 cameras for safety in this island park. We have many of them underwater. It's the first park in the world to, to put underwater cameras for the lifeguards. There's a lifeguard station here that will have 14 monitors watching at all time and also looking underwater to make sure that uh, nobody's underwater and there's viewing room underwater. You can actually walk underwater here and look into the both pools and see uh, underwater people diving and swimming and uh, you don't even get wet going down into the viewing rooms underwater. You know, Jim, everywhere I go in Charlotte lately, the, the first question, every, all the teenagers are out of school, and the first question they all ask is, when's the water park going to open up? When's the water park going to open up? And it's so wonderful to finally be able to say within the next couple of weeks. <laughs> and Fourth of July week, Tammy Sue Baker will be premiering with Tim Miner and the band on the island every night for the Fourth of July week for the entertainment, there's Bible study and singing going on this beach for the youth all summer long. And then following them from the Hawaiian Islands, we have uh, a wonderful, wonderful yes, group. I love Fabulous Crush. <laughs> Fabulous Crush arrives for luau's and music. Oh, and they are a fun, every day fun bunch Island. of guys. And they are fabulous, Jim. It's exciting what's happening here. And don't forget, by Sunday, there will be no more Victory Warriors clubs available. So if you want a Victory Warriors club, you must get it in the mail today or you must have it postmarked by June 15th. And it, after the park opens, there will be no more silvers and lifetime combinations. That means you can still stay in the tower for four days and three nights the rest of your life. Plus, you get a free silver club that uses this water park. You use the Every year you have a, a marvelous workshop, free of charge. You have, the, as I said, all the different activities. All non-food events are free at Heritage USA. So if you want a Victory Warriors, you need to get on your phone today. We've opened up a few more. What we've done over here on this tower, we've added two more floors of rooms to the Heritage Grand Towers. And so lifetime members will have two more. And that crane's moving right now, I see it, as we're moving up now, let's see, we're going to the 14th floor right now of the 21-story Heritage Grand Towers. And all the memberships will be closed out. We've opened two more floors plus something special that I can't tell you about. But it's a special bonus for all lifetime members that is going to be something you're going to be Have thrilled over. Have you told over. me yet? No. Oh, dear. I, <laughs> I'll tell you, though, privately. Okay, okay whisper it to so, me later. Next Monday, the lifetime memberships will be, a, well, there will be no more lifetime memberships, but the Silver Club will be $1,000. So right now, for a $500 gift, you receive a Silver Club, or $500 gift, you receive the lifetime membership, which that room would cost that much down at Orlando, at the Marriott or all. You would actually pay that much for one 
three night and four day visit. So be sure to get it in the mail or call us and help us to finish this miracle. We're going to see this miracle completed. What happened to my Bible that was sitting here? Is there, oh, we got it right here. The, the Lord has been speaking to me about finishing this part this month. And the Word of God says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Or in the Living Bible it says, So run your race to win. You know, at PTL we have been satisfied with not really meeting our goals. We have had telethons and we wouldn't quite make it. And then we'd slip back. Then the next year we wouldn't quite make it. And we carried a load of debt like a dead man's bones on our back for all these years. So we were always trying to catch up, always trying to catch up. And we had a telethon and 60% of our calls were fake and phony pledges. They were, they were crank calls. And, you know, most of the time you just say, well, let's just go on and try to make it. But two weeks ago, God gave us one of the biggest miracles I've ever seen on a weekend. And calls begin to come in. Those victory warriors, $1,000 gifts begin to come in. And all we were trying to do was raise enough to make a thousand or a million dollar payment on that building. Instead, God is enabling us to actually pay the building off up to what's there and pay eight million dollars instead of one million dollars, plus to pay all of our TV stations, plus to pay all of our other bills, and now God's going to help us to pay all of those high interest rate loans and notes that we've been carrying. I believe God has said enough is enough. And I believe now is the time for total victory. So run your race to win. And that's why we've opened up the Victory Warriors because the people we gave to last Friday to get their pledge in, some did not do it. Some did not, their credit cards didn't go through. And so, and others just didn't write. And I've made up my mind and I believe God has spoken to my heart. Don't give up, Jim, until the miracle is full. We must complete this miracle now. And if you want to be a part of letting, well, you'll, I think you get back a million dollar heritage for your gift of a thousand dollars to be able to stay in this beautiful place in your beautiful room for four days and three nights every year the rest of your life, as long as one of you live, the husband or wife, and then your children. Even if your children are 150 years old and you're 200 years old, as long as one of you are alive, your living children. Well, uh, your children, I, we wouldn't have, they wouldn't, the dead ones wouldn't come probably anyway. But can use this the rest of your life. Isn't that something? And then the silver benefits are free for those who join in the lifetime membership up until this Sunday. So it's exciting. And we're going to finish this race. Because here in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, it says, I want to suggest that you finish what you started to do a year ago. For you were not only the first to propose this idea, but the first to begin doing something about it. You know, we're the first Christians to ever have a wave pool. <laughs> we're the first Christians to ever build a water park. We were the first to propose such a, such a thing. The newspapers came and said, what does this have to do with Christianity? I said, the Bible says we're fishers of men. And this is the bait. I want to tell you, the teenagers aren't going to camp meetings, but they're coming to Heritage yeah. USA. And we're witnessing to them. We're teaching them about Jesus. We're helping them to get off drugs. We're putting marriages back together again. Christians are total people. That's what it's all about. Well, having started the ball rolling so enthusiastically, you should carry this project through to completion, just as gladly giving whatever you can out of whatever you have. Let your enthusiastic idea at the start be equaled by your realistic actions now. Amen. Let's finish this miracle. Amen. Let's finish Kevin's house. Let's finish the farm. Let's finish all of Heritage USA and give the devil a black eye. They can build casinos and gambling houses all over the land. Let's build this place for the glory of God. And get on the phone and call today or write and become a victory warrior. I'll tell you, you'll never regret it. If you, could, if you could climb through these mountains and these islands and up and through this place and see the tube rides down the mountains and see all of it, you won't believe what you see back up in there. It is unbelievable. 
So be a part of it, okay? Tammy Faye, before we talk to Danuta and Kai, why don't, you, why don't you sing us a song, okay? Okay, Jim, I'm going to sing our theme song, Don't Give Up on the Brink of a Miracle. And I'm glad that you didn't give up, baby. Thank you. I'll tell you what. Sometimes it's the hardest on the wife or the mate when you go through the battles in the valleys. And uh, Tammy Faye, I think, is as impressed with this water park as anybody, and that makes me happy. Because this yesterday was the first time she's seen it since it's neared completion. And I got a feeling she was just a tad overwhelmed with it, which I think we're all a bit overwhelmed with what's happening. And as we add the palm trees later on today, I think it's going to take on quite a, a tropical paradise look for all of God's people. You know, a few months ago, we almost gave up on this island. We had so many problems with it. It just seemed like it wasn't going to work. And then our people came in here and began to finish this island. And now we're just hours away from opening Heritage Island, Heritage USA. Don't give up. Don't give up on the brink of a miracle. Tammy Faye, sing it for us. <laughs> gave up on the brink of a miracle. I almost gave up on the brink of a Tammy, miracle. Tammy's, been, <laughs> Tammy's uh, just undergone surgery and she's still weak from it and this hot sun is unbelievable. I have with me Ray Sibley, is that right? That's right. Ray is the owner of Calco Coating Company 
How did a lady get into unbelievable company like coding massive pools and water parks like this? Well, you start small on bathtubs and spas and and you work into large things like this. And, and what a thing this is, huh? Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. I'm so pleased to be a part of it. Really am. You know, you're kind of a you can make it lady to have a company. You know, they tell me that you're the number one pool coating company in the world, that anybody who wants the best always calls Ray. Why is that? Why do you think that they want you to do their pools? What makes you different than the rest of them? A lot of hard work, I suppose. <laughs> a lot of hard work. And I have a lot of people that help me out, too. I've got uh, Pam Manny that I brought out here, and uh, Kim Kaiser, and Bob Templin, and a lot of hardworking people behind me. So How many ladies do you have on your staff, then? Uh, there's five. There's five ladies? Yes. And uh, I understand that sometimes some of the men are a little chauvinistic and and you've even been turned down for park jobs because they said, well, a woman couldn't do that's too big of a job. Well, sometimes that happens, yeah. But once we get on the job, we don't have any problem. <laughs> you've worked some days until, what, you've almost dropped 16 hours? Yeah, that's right. We've kept plugging away, and God willing, we've got it done out here. We've set a record on this park. We got it done under three weeks now. Are you proud of it? Oh, yes. Very proud, very proud. It's a beautiful bird. Thank you, Ray. God bless you. Appreciate it. Ray Sibley, i just been wanting you to meet some of the people. I don't know where my cameras are. There's so many cameras out here. Where would you like me to look? I just wanted you to meet some of the people that have made this thing happen because without the team like Ray Sibley and the people that have worked here and Jimmy uh, Barger from the Pacific Pool Company, Pacific Pools, I want to tell you, so I'll give them a plug. If you ever want a swimming pool, don't call anybody but Pacific Pools. These people understand the pool business and what a job they're doing building these rocks and, and, and building these pools. It has been fantastic working with them. And, uh, you know, last week I mentioned we needed some fiberglass people on these slides. We weren't going to be able to get the slides open on time. So I put out a SOS. Somebody in California heard me put out the SOS, called their family in, uh, what was it, Hilton Heads, South Carolina, and Warren and Matthew, I can't read that far, Paul, you're going to have to come closer. Uh, I don't know their last name. Warren and Matthew Andrews are up there on the, what we call the typhoon right now, and they've come in from Hilton Heads, South Carolina to help me finish these slides. It's very delicate work, very hot work, working with fiberglass and 125 degree down in those slides. And uh, they're from the marine finishers of Hilden Head, South Carolina, Warren and Matthew Andrews. And uh, they have worked until they've almost dropped. And, uh, but what a job and what a slide we're gonna have. I tell you, our seams are better than our slides even. That's how good a job these people are doing because they want the best and the safest slides for our partners. And I want to thank Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown and his wife have been working from INR. They're from York, South Carolina. They're right here. He was kidding me about, I said I'd fly anybody free that helped me with these slides from anywhere in the world, Eastern Airlines. And so he said, well, where's, where's my free airplane ticket from York? Well, York is in this, we, the York County is right here. In fact, Heritage USA, part of it's in York County. And so I want to thank Charlie Brown and his team and his wife and all of them that have helped us there. And Charlie Brown's been working on these serpentine slides over here. And from PTL, I want to thank Bob Dart and all, oh, there's too many, I, I better stop mentioning all the names, but Roger Garrett, who's been, and all the construction crew here, we'll meet some of them as the days go on, but you must give credit where credit is due. You must do that because you couldn't make this big of a miracle take place without a lot of people and so many of the supervisors and people have been working 16-hour days to make this thing work for us. By the way, if you like to uh, swim and you'd like a job as a lifeguard this summer, we are, we're going to need about 150 lifeguards now, they tell me. So we can open two shifts a day. So if uh, you're out there and you're a good swimmer, we'll teach you and help you to become certified. And you'd like to help work on this island. It takes 75 guards a shift to run Heritage Island. So get a hold of our personnel office at 1-704-542-6000. And the extension number is too far away for me to read. I, I can't read that card. 
It's probably on your screen. Ask for personnel when you call, okay? We'd appreciate that. Howard and Vessel are going to sing a song for us, and we hope that you all will come and visit us at Heritage USA, that you're going to be a part of this great new victory on the July 4th is the official grand opening of Heritage Island. Next Saturday, our pre-opening will be opening on, on a limited basis daily, probably eight hours a day for the next two weeks starting this Saturday. And uh, to get it all, all everything worked out and all the bugs worked out, you know, and get the lifeguards, they've been training for, for weeks and months, some of them. But uh, they need to, to kind of open on a little slower pace and up until the 4th of July. 4th of July will be grand opening. But we'll be opening on a uh, temporary kind of basis. Lord willing, and the state gives us our permits, we'll open this Saturday. And we're going to have an exciting time here at Heritage Island. We hope that you'll be a part of it. Don't forget, if you want that silver and lifetime combination for a one-time gift of $1,000, there's only a few days left. You better call right away and say, I want a partnership because there will never be another lifetime in the towers after this. So come on down and help us, okay? All right. Howard and Vestal, couple beach combers. He keeps lifting me. And he does. What? Are they testing the waves? Oh, the waves. Oh, there's a little waves. Well, oh, well, they're just testing each unit yet. We'll, we'll check them out. They got excited. Their waves started rolling. It is. We got a white cap here, isn't it? Well, we'll watch it and see. Praise God, he keeps lifting me higher. Yeah. I was facing decisions with answers unknown. Know what to do. A valley with no end inside. But I stepped out in faith, believing that I soon would be receiving what he promised to make up my life. Some waves. Well, there's a duck there's a landed duck on the pool. In the pool. <laughs> that's that duck. That's a ham. He was waiting for the water, and here he is back. Can you believe for that? Days and he's back. That duck has sat in that pool two days, <laughs> waiting for the water. That is so cute. They're already starting to test the wave devices. This thing will make unbelievable waves. And uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to, to, to do it while we're on the air today. Any, but by tonight, 
the, uh, they expect to have the wave machine working fully and uh, in its final test. Isn't that nice water? Oh, it's wonderful. The water will be perfectly blue when it's, when it's, uh, when it's balanced, when the, when the chemicals are balanced. It will turn beautifully blue. We have to vacuum it. This is just getting in now. We have another 12 inches higher yet to go on the... Uh, We have 14 underwater cameras, and those boys are out there playing with them right now. <laughs> Come on back, Tammy Faye. I could cool off a little bit. The sand is hot. Oh. Oh, that's fun. But we're so excited about this. Danuta, Kai, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you. Boy, I gotta tell you, this, this, is, this is our first time here, and what an experience this has been. It's been absolutely delightful. It's been terrific. And I what really an love it. It's an exciting day for you guys I to come. I really, on. really love it. And Tammy, I, you know, I used to be a swim instructor. Yes. And really? I could teach a She's rock to teach float. Me to would swim. you like a job? I'm going to be a lifeguard. <laughs> I used to be a lifeguard as well, but I could teach you to swim like that. Could you? Well, we'll do it. Over a we weekend. We will do it. Right, right now. Right. That'll All be, right. Oh, not right now. <laughs> if you want to learn how to ski, she'll teach you that too. Oh, no, you ski too. Danuta, I wanted to ask you a question. I think everybody wants to know. How did you end up on the 700 Club from California? Maybe I should go back a little bit further and find out how you found the Lord first, perhaps. But uh, I think people like to know more about you. Well, it's, uh, it's a story that still has me reeling from it myself. But uh, when I met my husband, Kai, he became my best friend. And at the time, I was looking for that reality in life. You know, yes. I, I had everything else I needed. I had my education. I had a career that was going very well in broadcasting in Southern California. And at the, at the merry old age of 33, <laughs> I looked at everything and I said, is that all there is? Uh, I, it, was, it was a tough road to get what I needed to make myself happy. And so I had my condominium on the beach, and I had my little yellow Porsche, and I had my friends, and I had my television job, and I thought, so what? I mean, if that's all there is, then I think uh, I'd, I'd rather cash it in. And I, I wasn't depressed, but I had a very um, intellectual uh, thought of suicide, actually. I was thinking to myself, why should I get up in the morning? Yeah. Why should I brush my teeth, go down that little ribbon of highway every day to work and come back? What significance do I have to the Milky Way? And I couldn't, mm. I couldn't fathom why. And so uh, my best friend at the time introduced me and the philosophy group that I was involved with to uh, somebody called Harold Bredesen. Uh. <laughs> and Harold Bredesen is a dear, Harold dear man. Harold strikes again. <laughs> yeah, Harold, Harold struck hard in my life. And Harold Bredesen led me to the reality of Jesus Christ. Isn't that something? And it was after that meeting with Harold, with the entire philosophy group, we all met the Lord Jesus Christ that night and became a Bible study oh. group. Isn't that tremendous? Yeah. That Harold Bredesen has absolutely entered more people's lives, like people like Pat Boone and and uh, uh, Mr. L uh, what was it, uh, uh, High Adventure Man and uh, Symbolist. And I, I mean, he is just absolutely. Absolute, and he goes to the places, uh, the Tiffany's and all these people, and goes to meet him and doesn't fear a thing. He's like a prophet. And here he's in your life. I didn't know that he's one of my dearest friends. And yes. I know he's a member of the board, I believe. Or, uh, well, I call him dad. He's my spiritual dad. And in fact, it was Pat Boone's book a new song that had Kai looking for Harold in the first place. I, went, you, I lived in Did Sweden. you know the Lord before you met? Didn't I, you know? I met the Lord in 1957. It was only a lukewarm relationship. And I read about uh, Harold Bredesen in a book called A New Song by Pat yes, Boone. Yes, yes. And I was in Sweden at the time. And I decided to go looking for Harold Bredesen and find the men who had the fullness of God in their life. And I found him eventually. And eventually that led to, well, five days after I met Bredesen, I, in turn, also met Danuta five days later. And, and then five years later, he introduced <laughs> me to Harold Bredesen. But it has, been a, it has been a long road map. But during two very intensive first years as a Christian, 
uh, during which I was in a very, a very urgent Bible study. I mean, now yeah. the philosophy group, these ex-philosophers <laughs> are now born-again Christians. And we didn't just sit there in Bible study going, amen and hallelujah, and isn't that wonderful. We, we got almost hostile. It was like, show me, prove it, yeah. why, uh -huh. how. Uh -huh. I mean, the minute we put our faith aside, I mean, we, ex we put our intellect aside. Then, our, then, then we had to say, all right, we accepted Christ by faith. Now give me back my intellect and let me uh -huh. satisfy that as well. And it was, a, it was a, a very rambunctious Bible study meeting. In fact, the pastor, Pastor Coleman Phillips, who um, um, mastered the, the Bible study for the five of us, later confessed that every Tuesday night he would pray to God and say, Oh, Lord, do I have to? Oh, do I have to face the lions yeah, again? Huh? Yeah. But it was a, a series of dreams that some people had about me. My co-host for my television show in California had a dream, and he said, I never dream. He's a Jewish man. He said, I never dream. I never remember my dreams if I did. And he said, I dreamed you were on a national television show for Jesus Christ. Huh? And I said, oh, you've got to be kidding. Because I thought I was going to a, a secular network. Uh -huh. and, uh, and it was then that that uh, two days later I'm laying on a sandy beach much like this and a lady comes up to me and she says excuse me you don't know me but I see your show and my husband who never dreams had a dream about you last oh, no. night oh, no. and she said we're Jewish you know and I said not another Jewish dream and and it was and she said you know he was climbing a staircase to see a religious leader and you are standing there instead of a rabbi and she said what are you doing in my husband's dream and what my are you doing at the top land. of the stairs? Are you studying to become a rabbi? And I, and I said, no, I'm just, I'm just struggling to be a good Christian. And uh, had you met Pat yet at all? Had you no. known Pat Roberts? You had see, you watched the, the 700, 700 Club? The Club was on the same time my show was on. Oh, your competition. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, we were on competing channels uh, and competing networks. So um, I, I had no. So never you seen weren't even really why weren't no. hardly aware of the Seminole no, Club. No, I wasn't. And. It was then that Harold Bredesen called me the next day and said, you ought to send a tape of your work and a letter with the dreams in it to CBN. And uh, he explained what CBN was. I sent the letter simply because I love Harold and not expecting anything from it. And I'd never, I know what a resume is, but I never sent dreams with it, you know? <laughs> and I didn't hear from them for nine months until finally they are, they are about to throw out an old desk that they are cleaning out. And they come across a letter that was never opened and a videotape that was never looked at until minutes before they called me. And they said, we've been looking for somebody like you for a long, long time. And I said, did you say this was CBS calling? <laughs> uh, and, and they said, we'd like you to um, become part of the 700 Club. And I said, what's the name of the show? Uh -oh. And they said, it's the 700 Club. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it was on my birthday, two years in the Lord, and it was on my birthday that I packed up my African violets and my calico cat and said goodbye to the only home I'd really ever known and left my friends behind and went to Virginia Beach, Virginia to do God only knew what. And uh, it was... It was during those times I thought, why? God must have made a very big mistake. <laughs> he really must have made a tremendous error because I am here between these two spiritual giants, Ben Kinchlow and Pat Robertson, and here is this little blonde Polish person, two years in the Lord, and I thought, every morning when I drove to work, my prayer was, oh God, don't, just one more day, Lord, don't blow my cover. <laughs> That's wild. But it's been five years now, and there's been a, a tremendous sense of satisfaction, and I know the Lord hasn't made a mistake, although I still wow. pray that prayer pretty, <laughs> pretty frequently. Well, Danuta, you do a great job. Thank you, You Tammy. do a wonderful job. We're proud Thank of you. Thank you so much. Tammy always says that women will not watch a program without another woman they on it. They won't. I don't think women and will watch a program. And she was thrilled when Pat oh, finally got a woman on his show. <laughs> Okay, let's go on just a little bit. Uh, Kai, your name is so unusual. It sounds Hawaiian. Well, it really is Hawaiian, even though I was born and raised in Sweden. But a missionary went to Hawaii and thought the blue sky, the beautiful waters, 
was something they ought to import back to Sweden, where it usually is like the weather in North Dakota. And um, I, in turn, uh, was named simply Kai because it means ocean in Hawaii. Oh. oh. Just like you have your wonderful swimming pool with the waves coming <laughs> about here soon. And I have enjoyed living in this country tremendously. I love living here. And, uh, of course, the joy of meeting Danuta. And, um, you used to sing, didn't you? In, yeah, in, I used in to Sweden? be an entertainer in Sweden. I was um, a well-known entertainer over there, oh. and then I have been a businessman over here. But I still sing and play a lot. Nice. Yes. Yeah, for but the glory of God these days. Next time you come back, I want you to sing. Yeah, oh. that's a promise. I'll be glad. If I can use your band, that is. Yes, you can use the band. I mean, that yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. Wonderful they musicians. They are great. When your cameraman was going after the duck out yes. there, they were playing the theme song from Jaws. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've written a book. I, I have a copy of it. In fact, I had one of the first copies, I think. Uh, I forgot who sent it to me. One of the publishers, I think, or one of the writers told me I would really enjoy the book. Uh, what's the book about? First of all, I, I know, but I want you to tell me. Well, it's, it's called Dear Danuta. And as you know, you get thousands and thousands of letters from people with thousands and thousands of problems yes. and people with thousands and thousands of ideas. And, uh, and I started to see these letters come in categories, you know, family problems, how do I meet Mr. Wright, yes. uh, and, and then people who always wanted to comment on the clothes I wore, or how my hair looked, or what I'm doing with my makeup, and I would get people saying you things like... You get that too? Oh, yes. I would get people <laughs> I'm calling... I'm so glad! I get people writing to me and say, why don't you dress more like... Uh, what, uh, uh, the girl on the Today Show, oh. and and why 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 don't you uh, why don't you why don't you wear peach? You look much better in peach. <laughs> and then somebody else will write and say, "Don't ever wear peach again. <laughs> that is not your color." Uh, and 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 then we get letters from from people who are in in real real pain. And so I I wrote the book almost like a Christian Ann Landers type, yeah. Yeah. and and gave some of the answers. These are real answers to real letters with, uh, with real problems. And it's been some help to a lot of people. What do you think about uh, woman's lib? Well, I'll tell you. I think it had great intentions. I think the idea of a woman being a significant contributing factor to society, to government, to the family, to world opinion was a wonderful idea. The problem was I think they went way, way, way too far. And even now they're, they're admitting that they have done that. Betty Friedan, yes. who is the mother of, of feminism, uh, has even come out with, a, with a, a, a subsequent book 20 years later and, uh, called The Second Stage. And she <laughs> says, ladies, we've gone too far. Huh. And now she says we have to swing the pendulum back because they were trying to make women super women and if you can't be everything, you end up feeling worse than had you even tried. You know, I've been in, uh, well, I've been in the church all my life, but I've been in the ministry 25 years. I've met the most liberated women in all the world are Christian women. Yes, They're liberated. Tammy, That's right. I mean, if Tammy got any more liberated, we couldn't <laughs> handle it. I mean, you know, Danuta, you're liberated. You're doing something that I think a lot of ladies would dream about doing and Vestal sitting down here God knows she's liberated we've been trying to get her a little back in herself a little bit there but uh, you know it's marvelous that you know the Bible says that you can do all things through Christ and uh, God's and, in the and last the days Bible especially says, and the Bible says whom the Son has set free is free indeed and our, we as Christian women our freedom comes from Jesus yeah. and knowing him. Well, you know, we have a, we have a spiritual freedom that is, is very, very real. And I think there must have been a time, especially during the 60s, when we lost, and when I say we, I'm in that generation, uh -huh. and as, as you probably are too, and you know that we lost, for those of us who didn't know the Lord then, lost touch with ourselves, lost touch with that spiritual part of us. And when you lose touch with your spiritual man, you are suddenly only a physical man, an emotional man, 
but not a spiritual man. And so you're like a wounded duck. Yes. And, and you try to replace that with some, you think, well, there's some area in me that isn't fulfilled yet. There's some area in me that hasn't been satisfied yet. And not realizing that it's a spiritual need, you try to fill it up with a self-esteem. Yeah, right. And you try to find an identity other than a spiritual identity. And you lose yeah. that way. You know, Danuta, when you said that you had, got, you had done everything, you were 33 years old and had done everything, mm. and yeah. you said, is this all there is? Oh, my heart. That was such a familiar cry, you know. Is this all there is? And you know, in the world, that would be all there was. Mm -hmm. That would be all there is. But when you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, at the song Vestal sings, He keeps lifting you higher yeah. and higher. There's higher goals and higher heights to obtain when you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. That's right. That's right. You know, I took transcendental meditation thinking that that might be the something that I was looking for. Uh -huh. And I paid the guru $300 to get my mantra. And I sat there oming myself into oblivion. And three months later, my guru says, how is it going? And I said, you know, I've really been looking for something. And he said, and what did you find? And I said, I found my nothingness. <laughs> and he said, that is the mystery of it all. He said that something is nothing. Oh. But I found that, that God can take nothing and make something oh, out of it. Amen. Amen. Uh, is it true you're, they're considering drafting you for vice president of the United States? Is there any truth to that rumor? I'm still prayerfully considering that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you mean we have another vice president? We have a, uh, yes, yes. Uh, another one. Yes, uh, <laughs> Tammy Faye has uh, been drafted, and, and now Danuta, the rumor is that she's going to be running for vice president. So, uh, <laughs> so we you just, saw here first, folks. <laughs> so these women will be slugging it out in the political <laughs> You want to talk no. about liberated. <laughs> <laughs> Things must be kind of uh, buzzing around CBN these days. It's exciting. It's exciting times. It's exciting times when you can see Christians becoming politically powerful. Yes. Because when, when precinct delegates, these are the people that, that start the, the ball rolling. These are the grassroots, right? These are folks in neighborhoods. Yes. When they start mobilizing, in, as they did in Michigan, they can literally turn the political yeah. climate around and say, we're not nobody, That's right. we're not powerless, that we can make changes because That's we right. are doing it now. And that is That's exciting. Right. Yes, if is. you're a living, breathing American, I want to tell you something. If you want to run for president, you have that right in America. And I believe that born-again Christians are not second-class citizens. And, you know, somebody said, well, you can't build a water park. Well, here it is, folks. We can do all things That's through right. Christ. That's right. And that is the presidency or the mayorship or the yeah. governorship or whatever. I believe that it's time that Christians say enough is enough. Yeah. That's right. We will overcome, <laughs> as someone went before us to say. The PTL singers sing for us the army of the Lord. Come on, folks, let's take back what the devil's taken from us. Oh, we're walking into the enemy's camp, laying our weapons down, shedding our armor as we go, leaving it on the ground. We've got to be strong in the power of his might, prove to the enemy. Or the light. But some of the soldiers of the Lord just don't realize that the curtain of the army of darkness has come to blind their eyes. Are we walking into the enemy's camp? There's no place to hide Our 
when they laid their armor down because it's not by might, not, not by, by power, power, but by but my, by my spirit, spirit saith the Lord. People, you're on the winning team. Stick with God. Jesus Christ is the victor that overcomes the world. Thank God. Well, our time is gone for today. By the way, if you want to read more of the uh, comments of Danuta Soderman, you can get her book, Dear Danuta. Jim co -host. Has a great it's, a, it's Ravel, I highly by the way. recommend it. Thank it's, you. It's and, thank good, you. good, wonderful, uh, down to earth answers to Nuda. I know why you like reading, because it's all those letters. That's Women right. like to read <laughs> other people's mail, I think. <laughs> but it's fun to read other, it's fun to read letters. It always it, that's why people like Ann Landers. Well, they, they always wonder what other people are well, saying. I, mean, I was very fascinated by Danuta's really wonderful answers. Yeah. In fact, we like you, Danuta. Yes, we do. You we know, I that. like you too, yeah. and I'm. So I, this do I. is such a. This is such a treat. And we met you in Washington, and uh, you know, when you see somebody in television, you always say, "I wonder what they're going to be really right. like." Yeah. And uh, well, you they were, be as nice as they seem. That's what I always say. Oh, I hope. And you were nice nicer they than we thought you would even be. <laughs> you know. This has been. Well, uh, we we really have been. Uh, we really, this feels like we're on vacation. Uh, I mean, <laughs> please bring us back here oh, because will. this is a wonderful yeah, vacation. You and Tammy, you and I can go down the slide yes. after I teach you to swim. Okay, all, all right. right, we'll do it. We'll do and it. And tell Pat we love him. Yes, we do. And we're I'll standing with blessings. him. I'll bring your blessings. i bring your blessings. Our time's gone for today. Thank you for being here with us. It's so neat to have the Nuda here and Kai, and I hope they'll come back and be with us again. And Kai's going to sing the next time he comes back. And. It's just nice to have the fellowship of the 700 Club and PTL Club and all the ministries, the way they love each other today. There is such a move of God among the leadership and among God's people's to people today. It's, I believe it's the prayer of Jesus that he prayed that we'd be one. The goats may be budding around, but the sheep are getting together. Thank God. Well, remember, the final day for the Victory Warriors is Sunday, June 15th. There absolutely can never be another Victory Warrior Club after that, but let's fill in the gap and make up the hedge and call us or write us today if you want that $1,000 lifetime silver and tower membership together. We've got two extra floors for you. God loves you. He really does. Bye-bye yeah. for today. Stay at the beautiful Heritage Grand Partner Center. To make your reservations, call 1-704-544-8100. Eastern Airlines is offering discounts up to 50% off for anyone traveling to Heritage USA. Call and make your reservations today. 1-800-468-7022. In Florida, dial 1-800-282-0244. If you'd like an audio cassette of today's program, send a gift of $5 and ask for tape number 3499J. Praise the Lord, see the things that he has done. Praise the Lord.